hello there everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so uh, our pair for today's live forex market analysis is the xaususd also known as the gold so without any further waste of time let's get on with the analysis so uh, i'm currently on the four hour time frame as usual so what i do is to switch to a line graph and identify my key levels first first one being my highest high and my lowest low and then the last two being my previous highs and lows so so um switching back to candlesticks now that i have my four key levels uh, what I see is that the market uh, was in a bearish trend it broke out and is consolidating here so uh, there's a there's a, a zone that I want to cater for which is this uh, support zone here that I want to cater for and there's also a resistance zone that I also want to cater for, which is this right here. So digging deeper to the hourly time frame, uh, what I'm seeing, I'm seeing that um, I'm seeing that the market is giving me this uh, bullish type trend the market is giving me this bullish type trend and I'm also seeing that this is a, also a strong support zone that I should cater for right so digging deeper to the hourly time frame I'm also there's also a trend that I see inside the bullish trend so uh, with this seeing that now this is the analysis that we have this is the setup that we have there's two possibilities the market can either break out the test uh, and further push to the downside or the market can just you know push up retest break out of the the bearish trend inside the bullish trend to continue with the overall bullish trend so uh, moving deeper to the 15 minute time frame for entries so now we're seeing this double this increasing double bottom so what I would do is to wait for the market to give me confirmations to enter a trade so I wouldn't enter a trade without confirmation so uh, so for buys uh, this is what I would cater for the market breaking out of this zone here retesting and that's where i will place my buy stop here yeah where it reverts to retest and with my stop loss at this zone here which would be where it would invalidate my setup and my take profit being at the nearest zone or key level so as you can see the risk reward ratio is a good one is to three so this would then be my take profit possibly take profit one so if the market reaches here i might lock my profit here here at this key level if the market is here to see whether it's gonna break out the test and continue right so that's the that's the setup for buys 
and then catering for sales um, the market would give me would would uh, break out retest the zone and and push to the downside and that's where I then will uh, place my sell stop or if so my sell stop would be here just below the zone and my uh, stop loss just above the zone and then my take profit being at my key level with a good risk to reward ratio of 1 is to 2.5 so this is if I cater for a sell stop right reason being is that I see that the market broke out the retested and if it's a fake out it would then push to the upside and if it is respects my setup it would then break out of my zone and from there I would automatically be in the trade that's the sell stop that I would cater for so uh, if I would then enter a buy immediately when the market retests my stop loss would be possibly possibly at this zone and my take profit being at the key level there with a good risk to, with a good risk to reward ratio of 1 is to 4.7 so so uh yeah my stop loss would be here with a good risk to reward ratio of 1 is to 4.7 but if i enter a trade here i would then enter possibly one position one position here and then if the market then respects my setup breaks out of the zone retest oh what i can do is to okay the market i enter a, a sell here it breaks out retest and i continue the trend so what i do is to place one entry there and place my sell stops there so that if it does respect my setup i would then be in the trade so this is kind of like a method of scaling in so it would respect my setup uh, if i place my sell stops here and um, i place only one buy and the rest of my trades here so the so that okay so if the market is here and i've placed my one buy and it doesn't respect my setup it will close me on that one trade and not all of my trades so basically to scale in on this setup so that's catering for sales so if you enjoyed this video hit that like button if you want more content uh I highly recommend you to subscribe and also if you like want to improve your analyzing skills this is what you should cater for this is the kind of videos you should cater for if you're trying to improve your analysis skills or your trading uh, skill in general so um, without any further waste of time I'd like to thank you for investing your time into watching this video and i will see you on the next one so if you have any questions or suggestions leave them on the comments and uh yeah without any further waste of more time i will see you in the next video